The Mississippi River, um, it sort of lives up to its legend. It, it, it has a character that's unique, unlike any river I've ever been to. The complete landscape of human life occurs on the river. People meet, fall in love, make babies, we celebrate, we sing, we perform, and this has been the way it's been since the beginning of time. There's very few more integral relationships in this country than between, of course, the Mississippi and New Orleans. I don't think that any city does not have the capacity to reinvent itself all the time. Uh, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, in New Orleans we have found the opportunity where there is a city that not only wants to do it, but needs to do it. Our goal is to create one of the best waterfronts in the world. And to get there, we hired the best design team in the world. George Hargrave, Enrique Norton, Alex Krieger, Alan Eskew and their team have done a spectacular job. Well, the assignment we were given is amazing and magical and also very intense. We were given five months to try to think not of recovery, but of the future. If we do our job right, we're going to create a trajectory for the project that'll go beyond us, go beyond this time. So when we've been giving birth to the final product, we're really doing it as, thinking that it's got to be such a, such a visionary product that it's going to outlive the quote-unquote master plan or outlive the principal authors of it um, and take on its own life. There are lots of barriers currently for people to the river. I mean, you've got flood walls, you've got, we've got wharfs. For such a, a waterfront-oriented city, it's hard to find a waterfront. In several key locations, we've actually designed park ramps that take you up from the city and then deliver you to the waterfront over the uh, railroad track. Well, we're standing near NOCA. NOCA wants to expand. Uh, perhaps as it expands, it also can provide a better access up over the wall, over the tracks, uh, out onto its portion of the river. It's a continuous access, but it's not the same. Sometimes it's a promenade, sometimes it's a park, sometimes you enter into a larger uh, you know, possibility of mixed-use development, and then you're back to a promenade and back to a park. Uh, it's a series of uh, well over 12 particular initiatives that collectively create a continuous public environment that allows people to begin to enjoy the river. We're creating a lot more places, but they're different. Each one of them we're seeking to have its own kind of characteristic. There are places to meditate, to celebrate. There's artwork and there's, there are places that you can gather with folks, push your stroller with your kid, or just take a leisurely walk to clear your head. And then there's, I would say, more historical conditions like the, the Spanish Plaza. That, of course, you know, that's sort of like the center of New Orleans and only exists in New Orleans. So now to understand it and reinvent it and recreate it for its 10th time, because it's been done so many times, it's a beautiful opportunity. When we get to um, Jackson Square, we're actually proposing improvements to the moonwalk that we think will kind of extend the life of Jackson Square back out to the river, which is where it started. I'm glad we're at this location because this is one of my favorite ones. I look at this and see one of the, one of the hottest, most vibrant nodes on the riverfront because we're talking about a major piece of park right here. I imagine uh, an evening like this, being able to sort of dine in restaurants that are tucked and perched on the side of the market building, finish, a, finish dinner and come out and sort of stroll this entire piece of uh, park. So we're trying to create more access, and when you get there, a lot of variety in the types of spaces you have to go to. One of my, my very, well, they're all favorite and they're all dear to me. Uh, the, the point where uh, the Elysee Fields meet uh, Explanade, you know, and, and there's suddenly that incredible opportunity to create a new, a new place, you know, a new, a new square. Up river, we're actually creating uh, sort of an urban space that we're beginning to think about as a contemporary version of Jackson Square. We're actually creating a park that is on the river, but then goes back into the city and then putting development around that park. 
very much like Jackson Square, but we're going to do it in a more of a 21st century mode. The architecture becomes a, a, an absolute document of this intervention at this moment in time in this very particular city that will be projected into the future. This extraordinary city we call home began right here on the Mississippi River, and to it, we've returned. One of the possibilities of this project is to offer the community a great sense of optimism. Through its framework, um, it's going to set up the places for development occurred, where you get that sort of synergy between open space development and real estate development. It's about investing in the sort of smart economic infrastructure that will produce the jobs and the income and the wealth and the quality of life that allows New Orleans to flourish in the 21st century. I think our visitors and our tourists will be able to use it and see the new way in which we've captured six miles of our waterfront. But it's when the neighbors take it, is when I will know as a designer that we, we did our work and we offered real, authentic, genuine opportunity. I'm very happy and I feel very lucky to be working here that hopefully will mark a difference for a city of New Orleans which is very precious for everyone.